I'm Leo Walder for Kit Guru. When Corsair announced their One gaming PC, it didn't exactly come as a surprise. Corsair is huge in the components market for gamers. Uh, cases, memory, storage and cooling in particular, plus various peripherals. So the idea that they partner up with MSI, with whom they already have a hybrid uh, graphics card thing going on, uh, and make a mini ITX gaming PC that uh, used an Intel processor and NVIDIA graphics made perfect sense. My main thought was, what would it look like? After all, Corsair has dozens of cases in its portfolio, and uh, the answer it turned out was none of the above. I truly did not expect the one to look anything like this aluminium tower, which looks absolutely lovely. It's kind of like that uh, Dustbin Mac Pro but not the same. Inside it uses conventional components and the intriguing thing is the way that on each side of the PC you have a panel that can be dropped down after you undo a few screws uh, and that reveals a liquid cooler. The, the only fan inside the chassis is at the top. It's a Corsair ML140 that draws air up, so in through the perforations at the side and up the central chimney. Uh, it's an elegant system and when you uh, strip off the cooling on both sides to reveal the CPU and the GPU, you can see you've got a motherboard in the middle, uh, CPU, GPU, storage, memory, all the bits and pieces you'd expect and at the top there's a Corsair SFX gold rated power supply. It makes perfect sense. Indeed when you look at the thing you think to yourself, well why didn't they do it before? It's obvious. Uh, it is a truly elegant design. There are three models of Corsair One on sale. This particular one is actually a US model. It's the Corsair One Pro with 960 gigabyte SSD. Also has Core S7 7700K, GTX 1080 graphics. US pricing $2,600 plus tax. Call it in the UK £2,800 if you could get one, which you can't at the moment. Not till they make more SSDs. Uh, the regular Corsair One Pro in the UK is £2,200. That has a 480 gigabyte SSD, also a one terabyte hard drive. The baby is slightly cheaper at £1,800. That has a, a Core i7 7700 non-K GTX 1070 graphics, 240 gigabyte SSD plus hard drive. So I think we can agree that that, while it might be under the magic £2,000, is the less desirable. The Pro is surely the way forward. If you can get the full Monty version, well, very nice too. It absolutely plays games as you would expect, no two ways about it. Now clearly the environment for the Corsair One is hooked up to your TV. It's a stylish item, it looks good, it can sit in your front room, and more to the point, it's really quiet. It has to be emphasized that despite its small size, this is a full-on gaming PC. Core i7, 7700K, GTX 1080 graphics, SSD. Other models, SSD plus hard drive, this full SSD. Uh, and it goes like the clappers. I tested it at 4K, which might be a trifle harsh, but it pulled through very nicely. Quite clearly, if you put this next to your television, you can plug in and play games any resolution. You may have to reduce image quality if it's a particularly harsh game, but that's always true of any PC in this day and age, unless it's got dual, well, Titans actually. Uh, it draws 40 watts on idle and 255 watts uh, in 3D Mark II watts when gaming, which is a reasonable proportion of the 400 watt power supply, so no complaints there. The CPU goes to 65 under load, the GPU to 53 under load. The liquid cooling quite clearly is working absolutely as you would expect, and this is all good news. The uh, cooling, by the way, Corsair tells us that it uh, monitors internally what different parts of the hardware are doing and adjusts the cooling to suit. But end of the day, you've got uh, a pump on the GPU, a pump on the CPU, and one fan at the top. So uh, it feels like a simple system. It is obviously more sophisticated than that, and it works absolutely excellently. From the outside, you can't tell there's a huge amount going on inside, which I actually quite like. The lighting is pure cyan rather than RGB, and if you've got the thing next to your television, that seems like a very good move. So you've got the one logo on the front, that's about it. It's just kind of plain. The sides, vented air gets drawn in there, comes out of the top. Uh, this is obviously also a heat sink as well as uh, uh, a way for air to flow through the mesh top. Photos on Kit Guru, as said before. And then around the back, we have a proper I.O. panel. So your regular kettle core goes there, and then you've got a whole bunch of uh, USB, including the USB 3.1 and Type-C. Uh, you've got uh, Intel uh, dual-band AC Wi-Fi, which is a very good thing, because although you do have Ethernet, you don't necessarily have Ethernet next to your television. Uh, so wireless it is, and it's good wireless. Uh, there is literally nothing to complain about. 
about with one exception, and that's the price, which is almost always true, of course, our products, frankly. It's quite pricey. The fact that this super duper high model is £2,800, or it would be in the UK, and the UK model is somewhat less, but still north of two grand, yeah, well, you're getting a lot for your money. I mean, not a lot, but a lot of performance, a lot of sophistication, a lot of engineering, a lot of thought. It's uh, truly impressive what Corsair has delivered with the Corsair One Pro. It is a really good gaming PC, and it shows they've actually worked at the design, and they've created a champ. It's an absolute winner. I like this PC a great deal, and I'm deeply impressed by it. Uh, I literally cannot think of anything about it that I do not like. And that's not often I get to say that. Uh, I'm sure it can be improved in certain respects, but there's no way, for instance, this case can take dual GTX 1080s. So as things stand, this Corsair One is absolutely superb. Uh, I am intrigued to see what Corsair comes up at some point, presumably in the future, when they come up with Corsair Two, but that remains to be seen. Right now, Corsair One Pro, big thumbs up winner. And on that subject, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Please do visit Kit Guru and have a look at uh, the videos and click to subscribe if you want more from Kit Guru. I'm Leo Waldock. This is Corsair One Pro.